So in this video, I will show you why I only use the shift C command to make objects or make cloners or whatever. I don't use any icons anymore. So the reason why I use the shift C, uh, for example, when I want to create this, uh, open up this redshift uh, viewport render, I just write this red PO and it comes up and you can, uh, it's, it's enabled. So the reason why I do this is because uh, when I first started out cinema, in Cinema 4D, I found myself uh, always trying to rearrange this everything here and changing these locations of these icons and just trying to figure out the best place where to put them and uh, just you know uh, trying to take them out of their places and uh, uh, move them oh I have to click this and move them around maybe somewhere here or maybe this should be somewhere there and this should be somewhere there and then then when some changes come uh, or I change the way I work I have to rearrange them again and I would be I would be just wasting a lot of time doing this doing this thing and uh, for example one one good reason one good example what happened is that I had all of these um, redshift or I believe I, I used octane at that point uh, I had all of the them um, those octane specific icons spread out here and over here and uh, then when I started using redshift the, uh, the redshift is a little different and th there are many different icons for redshift and then I had to rearrange them over here and then I thought oh yeah okay this one this this is gonna be good now I'm gonna work for uh, for unlimited for infinite amount of time uh, with these with this specific layout and then of course I bought uh, X particles and there's uh, a huge amount of uh, icons in X particles and I was thinking what's going on why am I using wasting so much time trying to remember everything again and again and then when I started making these tutorials what happened was that I I just um, I had to use the startup uh, layout because most of the people watching this are using are probably using the startup layout maybe not but uh, to be safe I thought to myself yeah I will be using the startup because so it's not so unfamiliar for people watching and now when this happened I couldn't just I couldn't use my um, my icon setup so what I started doing is hitting this shift C and always when I need to find something for example XP uh, emitter I think yeah XP system uh, I write it here and now it appears and when I press play the emitter is uh, it, it's working and for example when I want to add this figure I write figure hit enter and then when I uh, write cloner I can just add this cloner or if I want to uh, for this cloner to affect the if I want this figure to be a child of this cloner I have to hold down alt and then click enter and now they are uh, uh, many diff many people are gonna be on my screen in this case now when for example you want to add this twist deformer if you just click enter and then move this figure no uh, move this inside the figure uh, it's gonna it's not gonna be in the correct um, in the correct size uh, the twist deformer you you can just you can change the size of this uh, now but it's uh, it's a waste of time so you can just write twist and hold down shift and it's gonna be it's gonna make this twist object uh, a, uh, a child of this figure and now if you increase this angle you can see that it works and what's very very nice about this shift C command uh, as well also one more thing that's very nice about this is that you can write not the f you do you don't have to write the full name of uh, something of, of a command you can just write for example red P O and it's gonna understand that only this redshift viewport IPR uh, this is the only combination of words which has this uh, R E D P O and you can and you can always for example I always remember that if I want to render in my viewport I just have to write red P O and it's gonna be there and for example if you use this cloner 
you can just write CL and it's uh, it's gonna highlight the cloner and when you hit the enter it's gonna use the cloner but for example if you write CL and then you choose this uh, cycloid something that I have never used in my life um, now the next time I will write CL it's gonna highlight the cycloid because it remembers uh, the, what you did before so yeah this is the reason why I started using this uh, shift C command and to be honest I just feel better I really do I, I feel like my brain it's easier for my brain to understand to kind of remember the names of these objects of these commands than to always try to figure out the best way to and, and more most efficient way to arrange them and everything so uh, and actually, I have uh, also found, I find myself using this command in Windows. Uh, it turns out that there is, um, in Windows, there's also something, uh, a search, search bar like this. But I, I don't think that Windows has this thing where you can write these, uh, um, separate the words and it's going to find the, it's going to find the command. So, uh, I really like this. I don't know my brain just feels better trying to remember uh, the for example I know that the doodle object you just have to write do and it's gonna be there and I click enter and I can just write uh, and I can draw something here and I can point to somewhere and I can um, yeah I can do whatever the command allows me to do and I do not have to worry about uh, any Sigma 4D changes with which will uh, change the layout and I will have to again remember everything I don't know, maybe for you it's easier to remember the layout of the icons, but for me, when I started using the Shift C and trying to find everything that I need here, for example, I need the cloner, I will just write cloner and boom, it's here. Now, if I want the step add the, a step effector here, I don't exactly know, remember where it is. I know it's somewhere here. Uh, no, this is, isn't the place. Yeah, here is the step effector. But for now, it's much easier to just uh, find step, click enter, and as you can see, it's uh, it's it's just yeah, it works. So yeah, for maybe for you, it's easier to make uh, to ar arrange these icons. I don't know. Uh, I think this is a very very good thing, and for me, this works. Um, yeah, uh, I, I'll be happy to hear your thoughts in your in the comments, and uh, I will read them. And yeah, maybe I'll learn something. If you like this video, click like. If you if you liked it so much you want to see more, click sub subscribe. And if you don't want to miss anything, click the bell icon. But if you didn't like this, maybe, I don't know, maybe just go outside for a walk, collect your thoughts, think about your life, and then come back and watch this again.